guys, so continuing right where we left off there. You can't actually go back to the forest. That little area that we just came from uh, won't let you go back until you get the dragon block staff, so... Just a fun little tidbit there. So if you didn't buy enough items or anything like that, you're going to be SOL. Actually, one of the more important things to know here is that you really need to learn how to heal through both guarding or uh, magic. But then you need some MP boosting or recovering items. And it's about time she learned Gates of Heaven. I'm starting to get a little worried, actually.
die. Hard blade.
before I left, I just remembered that I want to go and grab a, uh... Sorry, I want to go grab a new weapon for Dart. It's going to bump up his attack quite a bit, because I think I still have the Heat Blade on him. Another one of those little random things there, but I apologize if the audio has been a little overly loud. Yes! Go! <laughs> Madness! Hero! I went and changed the audio settings for Crash Team Racing, so I uh, hadn't changed them back yet. I'm actually going to turn back on the uh, feature that automatically reduces the game sound when I'm speaking right now, just to keep the audio commentary a little bit lower. Yes. And I might keep it this way, I mean... Oh. I don't know why, but... Crash Team Racing was such a loud game. I think it was just the sound effects that was making it so loud, but I had to mess with my uh, both my audio setting and my commentary settings to kind of make it balance. And I didn't really keep track of what I had them at before for this game, so I haven't really been able to get back there yet. And I don't feel like messing with it mid-video, so... even though I've already turned it down a couple decibels to begin with. <laughs> So there are two paths. I started going down the first path and then I started going down this path. So I'm going to get to the end of this path because there's both a new sword for dart, uh oh, as well as a uh, rather useful item. I think it's a power up that I can get here, which will go nicely with my speed up. And. Uh, from there I'll go back because there is a it's a, a completely optional boss fight obviously you don't need to you can take this path and not fight the boss but I kind of want to fight the boss so another thing I've decided that I'll talk about uh, when we actually get to disc 4 is the first area there the death frontier what I'm intending on doing is going through through it, like because you start in the desert, in the middle of the desert, you can't leave the desert, so you have to find your way out of the desert. And from there, we are going to, I'm going to get to the end of it, I'll leave the desert, and then I'll save it, and then I'll come back in the desert, and I'm going to do some training. Uh, Hashel, Maru, and Congo will be kind of my three. I'll probably throw Miranda in there to get some uh, SP. Because Rose and Albert are going to be my kind of anchor, so to speak, for the fourth disc. So there's the power up. So it works the exact same as
I don't know what that sound effect is right now. So that way goes to the other area there. Basically where we want to end up at the end of this. And I didn't actually equip the mine crush yet, but I'm pretty sure it's 30 attack and causes confusion if I remember correctly. Die. Hard blade. And it's not these guys here, but there's another kind of enemy that we haven't encountered yet. And uh, they actually... They look like they're dancing to the music, which is pretty cool. I love this music. I love all the music. I didn't mention it when I grabbed them either because I was trying to figure out my audio settings, but the dancer shoes that I got that I gave to Rose, uh, they up her speed 20, so it's the same thing as the bandit's ring, except that it's the accessory is a lot more useful than shoes are. So for, I don't know if she'll keep it or if I might give it to Miranda later, and I'll, you know, if I'm only training one of the girls in the desert, I'll give it to them, probably Maru, so that way she can get more turns in. But, uh, oh, look at that, Dragoon level 4. So anyways, uh, I will keep it with Rose for now, and they're just, the shoes are so much better than the ring. There's a dancer's ring too, so you can essentially crank, and there's a bandit's shoes as well somewhere. So you can crank one character's speed up by, at most, 40. So I mean, you know, you can give them to Maru and then Maru can have 110 speed, you can give her the speed up so it doubles it to 220 and she'll basically take three turns in a row. But where I was going with this is the shoes are way better than the rings so even though I have two bandits rings for the guys. Those dancer shoes are a huge kind of breaking point for the game. Because now we've got Rose who's a lot stronger than Maru and, and Miranda right now. And she's going, she's actually faster than both. Because now her speed's at 75 which makes her the fastest character that I have right now.
have also noticed that I uh, didn't get a new spell with Dark getting to level 4. None of them get a new spell going to level 4. So you only actually get 4 attacks, because they'll get their dragon attack afterwards. Like level 5 when you max it out basically, so... And because I seem to be in a talkative mood, I'll mention that I now have 40 Stardust. We will see... Um, oh, I forgot what her name is already. The woman who... Oh, Martel. Uh, we'll see her in Denigrad in a little bit. And so I'll give her those. I'll collect the ones in Denigrad too, but... So this little puzzle here, all of these symbols represent a different kind of species. I don't know what that one is. Uh, this small one here are the mementos. I don't know if you remember seeing those guys at the uh, Lohan arena there. These big guys are gigantos. These are humans. And I screwed this up. Hmm. Basically, You have to uh, go in order of when the species were created, so that wiggly thing over there is not even ever mentioned, so that's first. From there it's Gigantos, Mementos, apparently it's Dragons, I think they were 105th, Humans are 106, Winglies are 107th. You actually wouldn't know how to do this puzzle properly if you haven't played the game once, because later on, actually at the very end of the disc, it'll start listing what the order is, which is kind of cool.
so for those of you that are kind of interested, uh, Belzac was the he was the dragoon who was holding up the roof for Shirley in that cutscene. There, we'll meet him later. Die. He's one of a uh, couple optional fights, but basically uh, that was him. So he was the one who had, I guess it's this guy's, essentially one of his arms like through him. If you guys remember back to the cutscene. So I just thought I'd point that out. Die. Hard blade. I'm gonna let you guys know right now, I am not gonna be able to beat this guy before his lives expire. Yes! Go! <laughs> Had I had the time to do some grinding on the ghost ship instead of just kind of breezing through it like I did, uh, I would have been able to beat him, but I don't have good additions, I don't have good equipment, so I'm not even going to bother trying. Basically, this is a great addition grinding area right now. That's about it. Sorry guys, that banging noise as I keep hitting my controller on the table in front of me.
die. Hard blade.
Albert didn't die there. was able to pick up a little bit extra experience there and I picked up a healing rain which is always good. I am looking at the length of this video I'm gonna head back heal save and then I'm going to start a new video where we will go and take on Grand Jewel which is going to be one hellaciously difficult boss especially for my current setup. I'll do one more random fight. Okay, I will see you in the next video, the continuation of the Forbidden Land.